Okay, so <laughs> I'm not going to bore you with showing you how to grab stuff out of City of Heroes as far as like the geometry goes. It's pretty straightforward. You find what you want, you control shift F, it goes into the OBJ file, and then there are two things, one of two things will happen. It will either work in Blender or it won't work in Blender. So I have pulled up a file in here that worked in Blender, <clears throat> and it is basically just a base. It's a tech base that I needed. And one of the things I, I was looking for was I wanted something that had intersections. And I wanted the um, little sections to go in, in between so I could build my own little base here. Um, and if I deselect everything else, you can see there's little sections here that can be taken out. Um, and they can be, you know, you can work with this, with this as you so choose. Uh, you can go inside the base and look around. Um, there's no text ring on here right now. It's just kind of a, you know, this is sort of, you know, this is what you can expect to get <clears throat> um, type of thing. You're always going to have this annoying, big, huge sheet of whatever this is. So you just, you know, just like everything else, just you get rid of the extra geometry that you don't need. And then you work with what you have. So that is basically an example of um, what you can do as far as geometry goes. Um, now, <clears throat> as far as what doesn't work, um, can we go to start, go to start file? Uh, okay, I'm going to go to here. All right, so I've got a file, import, object, and let's see, I'm going to go into my OBJ files. All right, this file here doesn't want to import with Blender. I get this error. So now what? Do you, so now what? You found the perfect location. Everything was perfectly set. You pressed your con shift, Control Shift F, and you got your OBJ file. You copied it to some directory, meticulously named it, and that happens. Well, that sucks. Well, what you can do is you can download MeshLab. Um, this is not going to be a tutorial on MeshLab because I honestly don't even know how to use it myself. Um, but you can download MeshLab, which I have on here somewhere. Uh, should have on here somewhere. Uh, that's not what I want. I want MeshLab. There it is. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and go into MeshLab. Maybe. There it is. Okay, I'm going to go to File. I'm going to import a mesh. I'm going to browse to where my mesh that didn't work is located. So in this case, it's in um, it's in the my object files a broken file. Okay, and open it, <clears throat> and you get this weird diamond-looking thing. Well. That is perfectly okay because um, everything you need is actually inside that diamond looking thing. Um, like I said, I don't know much about Mesh Lab. I don't know how to really clean it up in here. I'm more of a Blender guy, but if you want to look into Mesh Lab, this would be more than capable of cleaning up all the geometry that you need before you re export it back out to whatever file format you need. And as a <clears throat> side note, Let's say that you don't need an OBJ file. Let's say you need something else. MeshLab has a way to export stuff into several different other formats. You get um, you get all these formats here that you can pick from. So in my case, I'm going to um, export it back out as another OBJ file, and I'm going to save it as fixed. I'm just going to accept the defaults. Now, here's the part that's kind of a drawback. If it doesn't work and you have to do it this way, what's going to happen is when you go to import it, fixed, okay, when you go to import it, um, <clears throat> Everything 
is going to be one one object so that's one of the drawbacks if you can get it to create a good obj obj file and then import it directly into blender blender has separated out all those faces for you so that you can just in object mode you can go ahead and delete whatever you don't need but in this case it's not that way because we had to re-export it from MeshLab and I'm sure there's probably a setting that you can change in MeshLab to get it to simulate everything but <clears throat> sadly I don't know anything about MeshLab except for it exists I played with it like once and what I did find out was these corrupted files that Blender can't open if you just open them in MeshLab and then re-export them then Blender will happily open them, open them and I don't know why so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into tab mode, or edit mode rather, and I deselect everything, and I'm going to go into face mode, and then I am just going to basically select everything I can find. So, um, da -da -da. so if it's a face. And it's visible. I want to select it. Um, maybe now I'll cut this down a little bit. Um, I don't want to select anything that's actually inside. I'm going to just actually. <coughs> I'll do this the the way it should be done. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm going to select all these faces. Now, this is optional. I mean, if for all I know, you might want this. This makes a nice little container for, I mean, it's basically this is the world that your stuff lived in. So it might make a nice container if you're doing some animation and whatnot. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and delete uh, the faces. Do that, and I'm going to go ahead and grab all these just delete and I'm just going to keep doing that until all this garbage is gone and that's basically what I'm going to do so as you can see this was Atlas Park I'm going to delete the faces um, let's see uh, got to get it right angle here. I think that will do it. Um, uh, delete faces. Uh, there. Delete faces. And as you can see, you'll have to work on it. So this is far more complicated than just simply getting the characters out like we did, um, which only need to be reassembled. Um, probably might want to turn that on, and then they'll just all go away. Uh, let's see, I'm basically trying to get anything and everything that I know I don't want in my geometry, so of that faces and now I basically have <clears throat> it's Atlas Park in case you didn't recognize it um, so there's Atlas Park you also get all these weird little things these are actually all the trees um, so you know there are Definitely some drawbacks to getting your assets this way. Um, now, I am working on a program that will, theoretically, I would like it to be able to read the pig file, find the, ge the geo file for an object, and then you can just extract the object. Like, um, for instance, I've already done it with another program that I didn't write, but... Um, I'm not at liberty to say what that is because I'm just not. Um, but anyways, that program does actually 
once you get the geo file, which I extracted with the pig viewer, um, once I had the geo file, I was able to view the actual model in an OpenGL window. And I use the same technique I'm using with City of Heroes to basically extract just that one model. So for instance, I was able to get a very detailed model of City Hall um, and the statues and everything. Uh, this would probably be more beneficial for stuff like where you need like a full city shot or if you're going to build up the city and you just need to get like a reference as to where everything is um potentially you know removing stuff like city hall you know and replacing it with the actual model um that would work but as you can see you're able to get it so it's possible it's you know and what you do with this I mean this will take a lot of work <clears throat> to clean up and make useful but it is possible to do and like I said if you can get a clean OBJ file that blender will open in the first place it makes it even that much easier because then all these objects are actually separated out so you can just right click in edit mode you know um, I think it's even set by materials so it makes it even easier to set the materials for everything but anyway that is how you do the extraction so um, now I'm going to move on to the next part which is going to be reassembling our characters and from here on out this is probably going to be more towards the blender side of things than it will be the city of heroes side of things because I've taught you how to get what you need to work with and now I'm going to go over some stuff that you would want to do um, once you have your characters or your buildings or whatever it is you need. All right, so on to the next video.